everybody. How are you all today? How many great jobs are here? I, I, I'm not seeing the hands. Where's the hands? How many great jobs are here? <laughs> great levels. Great tens. Okay, we just, you all need to prepare for the future. My name is Sophia and I'm joined by my colleague Tashi and we are representing the CAO today. We are here today to tell you how to apply and most importantly we are here to help you and assist you with your application. How many of you want to study in KZN? In KwaZulu Natal? Okay, you don't, come on guys, where's the hands? Where's the hands? Where's the hands? All right. If you want to study in KZN, Central Applications Office does have applications for our member institutions. That is your UKZN, DUT, Uni Zulu, and MUT, Mangasutu University of Technology, along with that 15 other private colleges, which is your, I'll name a few, Mancosa, Varsity College, and so forth, right? How many of you have a flight already? Okay, wonderful, wow. wonderful. All right. Now today we have for you our CAO 2025 handbook that contains that contains all the programs. There's over 700 programs to apply for. All right. And we have the learner guide which actually simplifies the application, which my colleague will hand out to you now, as I'm going to tell you how to apply. How many of you know how to apply and where to apply? What website do you need to visit? Tell me. <laughs> I can't hear you. It's www.cao.ac.za. Before you go on that online application, you will need to be prepared. You will need to have your ID, right? Your ID and what else? Your certified ID and? At least a final grade 11 results. And what are the two very, very important things? Two very important things. Your cell phone number, your mobile number, and your email address, okay? Without those, institution will, will not be able to tell you whether you've been selected or not, okay? And those two things, your email address and your mobile number, you need to keep at all times, you need to check them at all times, so you will know whether you've been selected, rejected or not. Or you can go online onto our website www.cao.ac.za to check on your application status. You check on your application status by clicking on the check my application icon as well. Check my status icon. Okay. When you are on our website, everything is explained here in detail. It will tell you the documentation that you require. It will tell you that you need your user, your email as well as your mobile number. It will also tell you how the step-by-step -step guide on how to apply. You click, you go to www.co.ac.za, you click on apply, put your ID number in, then you click on continue, then it will prompt you for your personal details. Please, if anybody is doing your application for you, remember it's your application. So it's your name that needs to go there, your surname that needs to go there. Make sure that the correct details are down. Okay. When very also very important when you're doing an email address, right? Before this, make sure that it's something serious. Okay. You can't put hot chick in there. Come on. Hey, you can't do that. Come on. Because it's going to the university, and it'll come up as spam, maybe and they won't open yours. Okay, so make sure you have a good email address when you are applying. All right, and remember, I'm stressing again, email address, phone number again. You're, you have up to six choices, right? Six choices, that doesn't mean that one institution that we do, it's virgin institutions. 
institution. I can apply for six choices for an MUT, a DUT, a UKZN, or a Uni Zulu. You can have various choice, uh, various programs for up to six choices. Don't go for two or three. Make use of those choices. Remember, you are paying for six choices. So make sure that you apply for six choices in the proper ranking order. Okay? Because when you look at programs in our handbook, they have entry requirements and they have course notes to the end. And some programs, very important, they say that it must be either your first, second, or third choice. If you're going to put, put it as five and six, they're not going to look at it. So make sure you have the proper ranking order. What are you going to make sure you have? Good girl. Now, programs are closed, have closed already. Unfortunately, medicine is closed. It closed on the 30th of June, and it will not be able no one will be able to apply for it. If you, even if you get 100%, they'll tell you to come back in 2026. Okay? I'm being very serious. And then we have radiography programs that close in August. The first of which being chiropractic, which closes on the 15th of August, and thereafter radiography. So aspiring chiropractitioners here and radiographers here, you need to apply before the closing date, right? And other programs close, most programs that is closed on the 30th of September, right? And remember, after that date, your application is seen as a late application. We don't want that. Because what will happen then? What will happen with your application? Those who have applied first, Institutions will look at that first, and then they'll consider yours, okay? The on-time application uh, administration fee is 250 rand, right? <coughs> Up until, does it? The 31st of November. No, it's up until Sorry, the 31st, 31st of October. October. From right. the 1st of November, your late application fee will be 470 rand. That's right, 470 rand. It's on the website. It's on the book. We have Facebook. How many people have Facebook here? Come on, show of hands. Come on, we know you all. Facebook, come on. Facebookers? Can never be. Really? Can never be. Just two or three kids got Facebook here? Uh, okay. Okay. Do yourselves a favor, open a Facebook account. Right? Because on Facebook we will notify you is there any new programs coming in? And all other, like if we if we happen to close earlier, we'll notify you on that page as well. Right? New programs, change of requirements, we're gonna notify you there. And also on our website on www.cao.ac.za, you will see uh, under important notices, we'll notify you there. Also, there's an icon for a change of program. It will be there as well. If programs get discontinued, you will be notified there also. So this book, although it has the, seven, uh, the programs here, over 700 programs, remember, there are changes, but will be applied on the website. How many of you are under 18? Under 18? Under 18. All right. Thank you. There, there is something called the power of attorney, attorney form that has been introduced. Because you are underage, you need to nominate a legal guardian, a parent, to phone on your behalf, to interact on your behalf for your application. Okay, that's very important. It needs, that needs to be filled in. If you're over 18 as well, that form, you can choose for it to be filled in and completed by someone who is phoning on your behalf. Remember, because of the Poppy Act, we won't allow just anyone
to phone in and ask about your application. It has to be a nominated person by yourself. No, uh, no outside person uh, will uh, we will divulge any information personal to information. personal information to that other person if you haven't nominated that person. If you call our call center on 031 268 that information is also checked and that information appears on the call center agent screen. Am I right, Tashi? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because Tashi also works at the call center. You can reach him. For me directly. I'll assist each <laughs> and every one of you. He's offering to be phoned directly. Fantastic. Um, is it, and you know, 250 Rand on time administration fee, the late application uh, admin fee is 470. You apply before the 30th of September. Please push those ap applications in before that. Do not wait any longer. And remember, I've covered a few. I'm going to answer uh, uh, quite a bit with you guys. I just want to ask a few questions um, randomly, in any order, just to check if everybody's being paying attention. Remember, I'm seeing future nurses here. I'm seeing future lawyers here, engineers here, teachers, teachers here, paramedics here, prime ministers, um, prime ministers here. The new government might be sitting right here. Exactly. Hey? Prime ministers, or even the president here. Exactly. Right. Come on. So take take this grade twelve. And grade 11 very seriously, very seriously. Sorry, attention guys, grade 11, please pick up your hands. This is for you guys. Yeah, okay. yeah. Your grade 11, take it very seriously because remember that final grade 11 mark is a determining factor. You can, it can, you can be the future doctor, neurosurgeon, whatever the sky is your limit but make it happen now all right make it happen now this is the time in your youth to set the foundation get a strong foundation if you are struggling i'm sure you got teacher you got teachers that are willing and aiding to assist you you know trouble them do it now so you can be someone somebody driving that Mercedes Benz or that BMW, you know, make it happen now. Is there anything else that you want to ask us? Anybody? Any questions, guys? Please don't feel shy. Please. Please. Now is the time. Now is the time. Pester us how much you want to. Remember, it's your future. Any you questions, You can make guys. or Come break on. it. Yes, ma'am. I can't hear you. Can you go to her? How long does it take to do this? Do you get conditional offers from the institution? Some uh, some applicants that I've checked now have have received conditional offers. So it depends entirely on the institution. Um, it, it can take depends. a few weeks. It depends yes. uh, on their on their selection from their side. But with that, if you feel that you you're still not getting a response. You are welcome to call them directly and say, uh, it's now January, um, I haven't received a response. Mm -hmm. Can you please um, advise me? My status hasn't uh, changed, it's still waiting for a decision. Please have a look into my application and let me know. Right? You don't keep quiet about it. You speak up about it. Remember, communication is key. You need to ask those questions. Thank you, that's a very good one, I appreciate that. And especially concerning your email address and your cell phone numbers. Communication is very, very key. Some of you guys might just put in an incorrect email address and you're waiting for this communication to come through. So it's very, very crucial. Communication is key. If you're gonna get offers and they're gonna send it to you via email, are you gonna receive it, guys? No. Absolutely. <laughs> With that, 